Um, the biggest challenge we have environmentally, and it is an international challenge that we cannot solve alone, is the issue of climate change. Uh, you know, there are other issues. Dirty water, dirty air. But the truth is, is that we've made enormous progress over the last several years, over the last several decades in the United States. And if you come to the United States, environmental quality is pretty good. And internationally, we've promoted uh, policies around you know, how mercury, uh, uh, mercury is released into the, uh, into the environment and, and, and how other poisons are released in the environment and how businesses have to be held to international standards in terms of worker safety. You know, those are areas where the United States has been at, uh, at the forefront. We've been in the, uh, at the front of the line, not the back of the line when it comes to those issues. But the existential challenge that we face has to do with a warming planet. And your generation is the one that's going to be most severely affected. Now, the United States and other highly industrialized developed countries over the last 50, 100 years have been pumping up carbon emissions into the atmosphere. And slowly, this has been building up, and it is warming the planet. And we may be reaching a tipping point in which if we do not solve this problem soon, it will spin out of control and change weather patterns in ways that we can't anticipate with drought, floods, you know, much more severe natural disasters. And unfortunately, in those situations, it's often poor countries that are affected the most by these changing climate patterns. So I just gave a speech this past week on what the United States is going to do on our next phase of reducing our carbon emissions. The United States actually reduced our carbon emissions more than any other country since I came into office. I just want to make that point. We doubled, we doubled fuel efficiency standards on cars. We're investing in clean energy like solar and wind. So, and we will actually want to share that technology because we think that all countries need to benefit. And, and part of the opportunity for Africa is to see if we can leapfrog some of the polluting practices of America or Europe and go straight to the clean energy strategies that will allow you to advance economic growth but not corrupt the planet. 